Blackmagic Design released the beta version of Resolve 19 today after their NAB stream. They did a live stream about two hours long, and one of the things they announced was the Resolve 19 beta, and they added quite a few new functions and features in it. Uh, it seems to be a pretty good update, uh, and I've had it installed for a few hours. I've been playing with it, and it seems fairly stable for a beta so far. But in this video, I'm going to go over 10 different interface changes they made, mostly to the cut and edit pages. And if you stick around to the end, I might have a bonus change that I'll highlight. But right now, I'll go over the 10 different changes to the interface they made in the Resolve 19 beta. Okay, the first change you'll notice to the interface in Resolve 19 beta is on the cut page. The size of the viewer is actually changeable now, and you can make it quite large depending upon what other parts of the interface you have open. Like you have the media pool here, and you can have transitions and titles. But it used to be a fairly fixed size around here, but now if you go in between the different sections, you can resize it, make it larger. And you can also shrink this window down, and make it quite large so it's easier to see. So that's a nice addition. Uh, a lot of people don't use like the cut page, but it seems to be getting better with it a little bit more customized. So that is the first change they made in the Resolve 19. Says the first change they made to the interface in Resolve 19 beta. Now the second change they made to the interface for Resolve 19 beta. In the cut page, they allowed the OpenFX and Fusion overlays, and they're accessible over here under the Settings Tools button here. And then they're listed here on a row. So you come over here, see effects overlay, and then you get to choose between the open FX or the fusion overlay. So if you're doing custom fusion effects or open FX, uh, any of those that are usually used in the edit page, you can now do that on the cut page. And it makes it easier not to switch back and forth if you enjoy using the cut page. Third interface change they made is in the grouping of the effects on the cut page. Come over here the top here and click on effects they're much better categorized and listed so you could scroll down through them and find them easier I don't know if like resolve fx color or resolve fx blur they're a little more jumbled in the earlier versions of the cut page so this is a nice change just to make it a little easier to find the effects you need fourth change you made to the interface is on the edit page if you come over to the timeline options you can see they've changed the look of it how it's organized and this also follows on with the next change they made. And this also follows on with the fifth change they've made, which is they now allow a fixed playhead, which is under timeline options. And if you click on that, now when you scrub through, the playhead stays in the center and the timeline itself moves. So you could, it's more like the uh, cut page, but that is the fifth change they made to the interface. The sixth change they made is also on the edit page. And that's how you can preview and scrub through audio without having to do it on the timeline. What you do is select a clip with audio, come over to the file tab. Down here you have the audio configuration. So you could scrub through. And you can also play it through to preview it. So that's a nice quick way you can get to it without having to again go down to the timeline and scrub it through that way. Next change I made to the interface is the introduction of the precision trim editor in the edit page. This is something that was originally available on the cut page and still is, but now you can access the same function from the edit page. And this allows you to take a trim point, an edit point here, and double click on it. And then I'll put your cl one clip on the left, one clip on the right. And then when you change the trim point here, you can see it scrub through so you can precisely get it where you want it. So that is a nice addition. And the eighth change you made in the Fusion 19 beta is also on the edit page and it's to the Fusion effects overlay. So if you come over here, enable the fusion overlay, make sure it's enabled. You can see that you could actually now select the characters like you could on the fusion page. And also if you, you can edit it. So if you click, you change it and I can add some letters here right from the viewer. So I'm having to go over to the text box here. And if you right click on it, you also get some, the uh, context menu here. It allows you to choose different ways to uh, change the text and also have some templates here to allow you to allow manual positioning, individual letters. So there'll be different points here. So I could take the L here, 
left click and drag and move that around and do the same thing with the E. These are all things you could do on the Fusion page, but now you can also do them on the Edit page if you enable the Fusion Effects overlay. The ninth change you made to the interface is under the Effects Favorites down on the bottom left here. You should just be a list of all your different favorites, and it didn't matter what kind of favorites they are, they were just put in an order here and not really organized at all. And now they actually have it organized by the different kinds. So you can have it on your toolbox here, and you have your titles and your effects. And if you were to add the generator or something, then that would also add that as a subcategory. So that allows you to keep it a little more tidy and be able to find your effects a little easier. The tenth change they made to the interface is the ability to search across different categories of effects. Uh, before, if you searched, you would only search in the folder you're looking under. If you come up to the search menu here, you have all folders or current folder. So if you go into all folders, even if you're in open FX, you're not in the FX color. If you start typing aces, you'll see it still and won't limit you to just the folder you were searching in, which is a nice change. makes it a lot easier to find the effects and not get so frustrated. Okay, that was 10 changes they made to the interface in the Resolve 19 beta. But I promised an additional one here. So here's basically the 11th one. That's over here in the effects panel. Previously, if you were to drop down and open up one of the effects subcategories, it would all be closed. But now if you click while holding down the Alt key, it will all be open. And if you go back and just click it once without the Alt, then you just see the, the main one opened. So that was the 10 plus 1 changes to the interface in the Resolve 19 beta that they made. I think they were good changes, and there's a whole lot of other features that they've uh, added and changed in the beta. So I'll be releasing more videos over the next day or two going over that, including the video I already made today about the render speed changes they made in 19 beta compared to the previous versions. So that should speed it up in the free version of Resolve 19. But I hope you enjoyed this video, and I thank you for watching.